Electrostatic potential in capacitance is a high weightage topic in J mains. In this 15 by 15 series, I have brought you 15 quality questions from electrostatic and potential which will boost your confidence, clear all your conceptual doubt from this particular topic. Okay, with that, you'll get a practice question on our WhatsApp channel that is PWJ English. So, scan this QR to join the WhatsApp channel, you'll get a practice question after this video. So, let us begin. In this question, we are having two dipoles. This is P1, this is P2. They are placed on x-axis at a distance A. Now, they will repel each other, okay? Now, when they will go to infinity, what will be their speeds when they are infinitely away? So, what we will do? We will do conservation of mechanical energy, okay? So, solve it and then come back. I hope you are back. Okay, so... This was the initial condition. At final condition, they are at infinity. The potential energy of a dipole, we write like this, minus P dot E. So, when I write the potential energy of combination at initial state, what I will do? Due to this dipole, I will take the electric field on the other dipole and then I will take the dot product with the negative sign of the dipole moment and the electric field. Or I can do vice versa also. Okay. So, from there, if I write electric field due to this there, so what it, that will be? Okay, that will be 2 kp by A cube I cap. Okay, and what is this? The direction of this dipole minus P I cap. So minus P I cap. Taking dot product, I got my initial potential energy. Final potential energy is zero because they are at infinity. Okay, so initial potential energy, initial kinetic en energy was zero because initially they were at rest. Final potential energy is zero, final kinetic energy. From there, I got the final velocity. So the answer is two. Next question. Here we need to find the capacitance of this here the, the two plates are there and the dielectric slab is in this triangular shape okay so solve it and then come back i hope you are back so what i will do is at a distance x from here i'll take a thickness of dx okay so this becomes my capacitance dc between this it here we are having air and here the dielectric is there Okay, so let us take this is DC1, this is DC2. These two capacitors are in series. So 1 by DC is equal to 1 by DC1 plus 1 by DC2. So when I write DC1, so that will become A epsilon naught divided by separation. This separation comes out to be D into 1 minus X by A. Similarly, this DC2 will become A epsilon naught, area is ADX into K epsilon naught. Here dielectric is there into D. Solving that, I got my DC expression like this first and then taking the reverse, I got my DC. Now, all these capacitors are in parallel. Therefore, I am summing up the DC and summing up, I got this expression. So, the final answer comes out to be first. Next question, here a positive charge is there, okay? And it is released at a distance R from this line charge and when it will reach at a certain distance r, the relation of the velocity we need to find. So, just conserve the mechanical energy, solve it and then come back. I hope you are back. Okay. So, let us take, it was initially here and finally, it is moving like this. How, how I will conserve the mechanical energy? Initial kinetic plus potential is equal to final kinetic plus potential. Okay. I need to find how much the potential energy changes. So, from there, for that, I will find how much the potential changes into the charge. But how to find the change in potential? Write the electric field. Electric field due to infinitely long ch line charges 2 km by r. Integrating that, I got the potential difference. From there, I got the potential energy difference. This is conservation of mechanical energy. From there, I got that my velocity comes out to be proportional to root of r by r naught that is option a next question okay here we are having a q charge is distributed on two shells such that surface size density is same we need to find the potential at the common center okay so do it and then come back i hope you are back now potential at the common center will be potential due to first plus potential due to second. Now, for a shell, if I write the potential at center, the formula is kq by r. If I arrange it, I can write in terms of surface charge density. So, that comes up to sigma r by epsilon naught. So, v1 becomes sigma small r by epsilon naught, v2 is sigma capital R by epsilon naught. So, that is sigma by epsilon naught into r plus r. What is sigma? Total charge divided by total surface area. I got my answer to be 3. Okay. Now, next question. Here, these four charges are there and I need to find potential at P and this condition is given to us. R is greater greater than L. 
Now what you can do is you can consider two dipoles here and then solve that will be very easy okay. So do it and then come back. I hope you are back. So this becomes my first dipole minus q2 plus q. This is my second dipole plus 2q2 uh, minus 2q2 plus 2q. So total dipole if I find so that comes out to be P1 plus P2 that comes out to be minus 6 QLI cap. What is the formula for potential? Kp dot R by R cube. Or I can write Kp cos theta divided by R square. So if I put the values, so Kp is 6 QL into cos of. My net dip dipole moment is towards the left. Okay, the point is like this. So angle between that becomes 180 minus 60 degree. Putting that, I got alpha to be 27. Okay, now next question what it is here in here we are having a solid sphere okay a point charge here is q and the solid sphere is having charge capital q now initially this was the condition now it will repel the charge is going like this at a depth when it moves uh, by a height y okay what will be the velocity there so same thing apply conservation of mechanical energy initial potential plus kinetic is equal to final potential plus kinetic but you need to consider gravitational energy gravitational potential energy also here in this case okay then solve it and then come back i hope you are back so this is initial position this is final position initially potential energy is electrostatic plus gravitational potential energy initial potential energy is k q q by r okay the potential there into the q Gravitational potential energy. I am taking this as a reference, so this becomes mgy. Finally, electrostatic. Finally, it is here. Electrostatic potential energy will be the potential there into charge. So that is kqq divided by r plus y. Gravitational potential energy is zero because this is my reference. Conserving the mechanical energy, initial total energy is equal to final total energy. Initial kinetic energy was zero. Final kinetic energy is half mv square. From there, I got my v square expression and which matches with option four. Okay, next question. Here, these three charges are there. Now, this charge Q3 is moved from this C to point D. You need to find the change in potential energy. Very simple. Do it and then come back. I hope you are back. So, initial potential, when I write the potential energy of this system, that is potential energy of 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 1. Now, if you see, the potential energy of 1, 2 is not changing. 1, 2 means this and this these charges are not moving so that is same potential energy of 3 1 is not changing because this distance remains 40 only so that is not changing potential energy of 2 3 is changing because this uh, distance was initially 50 centimeter finally this is 10 centimeter so just find that change okay so what is that potential energy k q1 q2 divided by r initially finally the distance is 10 centimeter initially the distance was 50 centimeter taking the difference this becomes the difference in the potential energy so k comes out to be 8 q2 answer is a uh, 4 here okay option 4 is the correct answer now next question here electric field expression is given we at v at x is equal to 1 potential is v1 at x is equal to minus 5 potential is v2 we need to find v1 minus v2 okay so we know the relation dv is equal to integration of minus e dot dr put the expression of e okay then integrate it limit 1 to minus 5 v1 to v2 by solving it v2 minus v1 comes out to be minus 180 so v1 minus v2 is 180 option is second okay next question here electrostatic potential uh, on the surface of a shell is given of radius 10 centimeter now you need to find potential at 5 centimeter 15 centimeter and at the center also okay these three points do it quickly and then come back I hope you are back. Okay. So we know if R is less than R, potential is KQ by R. It means the potential at center is same as, potential at surface is same as center and 5 centimeter. Okay. So V center and V5 is 120 only. Now, when R is greater than R, means a point is outside, then formula is KQ divided by R. R is the distance from the center. Okay. So putting the values, we got that to be 80 volt. So the answer is 120, 120 and 80. That is Okay, next question, here, these uh, four dielectrics are inserted, okay, you need to find the equivalent capacitance, 
Okay, it's simple. You can see which one are series, series which one are in parallel, and then you can find the C equivalent. From there, you can find the effective dielectric constant. Do it quickly, then come back. I hope you are back. Okay, so let us take this is C1, this is C2, this is C3, this is C4. C1, C2 are in series, and this C1, C2 combination is in parallel with C3, C4 series combination. Okay, don't say C1, C3 are in parallel. No, that is not parallel because this potential is not equal to this potential. Be careful. So, equivalent comes out to be these two in series, that parallel with these two in series. What is C1? Area is A by 2, okay, A by 2 into K1 epsilon naught, the separation is D by 2. That becomes this. So, C2 is similarly AK2 epsilon naught by D, C3 is AK3 and C4 is AK4 epsilon naught by D. C equivalent is A into K equivalent epsilon naught by D. If you equate, okay, put the values, you will get K equivalent as this, which is option 2. Okay, next question. Here we are having four plates, the separation is given. What we need to find? The uh, equivalent capacitance between A and C. Okay, simple, solve it quickly, then come back. I hope you are back. Let us take this plate is having potential 1, this is 2, okay, or V2 I can say, and this is having V3, and these two are connected, so these two are having V3 only. So this is my terminal 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Now if you see, this capacitor is between 1 and 3, so that is between 1 and 3, this. This capacitor is between 2 and 3, so this is 2 and 3, okay. This capacitor is between 2 and 3, so this is also 2 and 3. These two are in parallel, so 2C in series with C, so C equivalent becomes 2C by 3, C is A epsilon naught by D, area is 3, putting that I got my X equal to 2, 2 is the answer. Next question, okay. So here, two parallel capacitors, C1, C2, 10 microfarad, okay, individually charged by 100 volt DC. Now C1 is kept connected, a dielectric slab is inserted, C2 is removed, and then the dielectric slab is inserted, okay. After that, they are connected in parallel, what will be the common potential? So solve it, then come back quickly. I hope you are back. Okay, so this was the initial condition. Charge, I wrote Q is equal to so CV 100, C1, 100, C2. Now, second condition, C1 is connected with battery, then dielectric is inserted, C2 is removed, then dielectric is inserted. Here, the charge will remain the same, it will not change because battery is not there. Here, the charge will change, okay. C1, C2 is changing, that will become K times. Now, these two capacitors are connected in parallel. So, V, when I write the common potential, that will become my total charge divided by C equivalent. What is total charge? This charge here, that is Q1 dash, this charge here, that is Q2 dash, and Q2 dash was equal to my Q2 only, okay, divided by C1 plus C2, putting the values, I got this expression of V common, K is 10, putting that, potential co comes out to be 55 volt, okay. Next question. So, here, initially switch S1 is closed, C1 will charge, okay, now switch S2 is, S1 is removed, S2 is closed, then we need to find what will be the charge on 8 microfarad capacitor at final condition, okay, solve it, then come back, I hope you are back, okay, so let us take, initially S1 is closed, then the charge here will be 10 into 2, so 20 microfarad, now when you open S1 and close S2, let us take X amount of charge went to 8 microfarad, so here remaining charge will be 20 minus X, here the charge will be X, both are in parallel, potential will be same, so Q1 by C1 is equal to Q2 by C2, Q1 is 20 minus X divided by 2, C1, okay, Q2 is X divided by 8, from there we got X comes out to be 16, so the answer is 16. Here, uh, what we need to find the charge on capacitor C4. So solve it quickly and then come back. I hope you are back. Now see, these three capacitors are in series. The equivalent comes out to be 0.8 microfarad. Okay, so this 0.8 and this 0.2 are in parallel. So the equivalent of this whole comes out to be 1 microfarad. Now this is 1 microfarad. These 2 microfarad, 2 microfarad are in series, so this is 1. So 1 microfarad and mic 1 microfarad, total potential is 10. This is in series, so here potential will come out to be 5 volt across this. So across this, the potential is 5. Now these three capacitors will have the same charge. Yes, what is the C equivalent? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 into what was the potential across? 5. So this becomes 4 microfarad. 4 is the answer. 
Okay, last question. Here, we need to find potential difference between A and B. So, this is a parallel plate capacitor, electric field is uniform. Do it and then come back. I hope you are back. So, we know that point A and C are on equipotential surface. So, potential of A and C is equal. Okay, so VAB, I can say VBC. I can find just the potential difference BC. So, how to find that? Total potential difference between the plates is V. Okay, electric field is uniform. Okay, so the potential difference, the magnitude only between BC will be total potential divided by total length into the length of BC. Putting the values, the answer comes out to be 2 by 5. Okay, so that uh, 2 by 5 was our option D. Yeah, that is option 4. So, thank you all. We'll meet in the next 15 into 15 series.